Pro-Palestinian demonstrations are also being held around the world. Thousands of New Yorkers took to the streets in support of the besieged residents in Gaza. Protesters in Rome held up banners that read, read Stop the Genocide Now, Free Palestine. Hundreds of protesters also marched in the French city of Marseille, urging Israel to end its military operation. And for the rallies in the UK, Evangelos Sipsas has more from London. Dominated by Palestinian flags, scarves, banners and chants such as Free Palestine, thousands have gathered here in central London in a pro-Palestinian demo urging to put an end in Israel's attacks in Gaza. The demo comes a day after the UK government abstained from a UN resolution to put a humanitarian truce in place in Gaza, with the people behind me being quite angry. I don't understand how you could see what's going on in Palestine, in Gaza, and just abstain. Do they not care about what's going on, you know, with the people that are suffering there? I'm expecting my government to listen to the people. And as we're coming out here today, I'm expecting, you know, just some compassion. I think that's the bare minimum. That's why we're out here, because we want some liberation for people who are discriminated on all bases. Crowds gather near the Golden Jubilee Bridge, holding signs, flags and stickers with red, white, black and green colors before marching through central London to Parliament Square. The demonstration was one of the largest the country has seen in recent years, even larger than last week's where more than 100,000 people participated. And this to show condemnation of their government stance not to vote on Friday's resolution, where over 120 voted in favor, while 14, including the U.S. and Israel, voted no. The crowds have demanded an immediate ceasefire and called on the British government to change its stance on the conflict. Well, they don't, need, they don't need to sell them weapons. They don't need to cover for them. They don't need to uh, veto UN resolutions. They abstained the vote, though. How does that make you feel as a citizen? They abstained? Yeah. Okay, well, it's, it's cowardice, isn't it, really? They need to come to some kind of ceasefire agreement where there is a peace plan in place where over the next five or ten years there will be a two-state solution. Otherwise, we'll be back in these protests. We'll be back seeing the blood, the violence, the war. The UK government was one of the first to come out and show support for Israel after October 7th attacks by providing intelligence but also financial aid. While Prime Minister Netanyahu praised the UK Prime Minister Sunak for that decision, the thousands of protesters standing behind me want their government to take a different stance. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN in central London.